I'm Angela and I'm the CEO at Emisium. Let me tell you one thing that you might all know, that is electrification is everywhere, right? We know most of the European companies, they have these targets from uh, for uh, 2030, 2040, 2050, for net zero, and electrification is one of the main drivers for logistics and operations, for instance. And now let me tell you one thing that maybe you didn't know, that is electricity is not always the same. We have periods in, let's say, summer or when it's super uh, windy or sunny, where uh, electricity is coming from mostly renewable resources, which is low cost and super green. And then we have other times, especially now winter, or, well, now more spring, but winter, or when it's not sunny and when it's not windy, where electricity is extremely expensive. That actually concerns company. companies, about, uh, apart from the fact that are also uh, very pollutant. And the problem that we are tackling here is like our customers that are companies with significant energy usage, uh, their main OPEX cost is ac actually coming from electricity costs and they really need to decrease the cost uh, if we want to be competitive with other parts of the, of the world, knowing that for instance, Europe has a 50% electricity uh, higher cost versus US. And then which is the solution, it's like at Emissium we actually provide the most reliable and transparent electricity data insights. It's every 15 minutes, real time, really where your operations, your buildings, your factories are located and we provide it in a super transparent and flexible way. The product has three main parts, so it's historical data for reporting, real time data for operations and predictive data for both energy management and, and energy trading. Here I wanted to say that mostly reporting and optimizing operations is for cost reductions, also reductions of emissions, but predictive data actually unlocks companies not only do energy management but also energy trading, which brings them some nice revenue. Our business model is super simple, to be honest. You only pay a monthly fee, you get access to our API that also you can embed into your uh, existing dashboards. Um, also, you can get, if you don't like our API, you can get historical data in a CSV file or PDF file, so it's super good for your reporting. And then, as I said, we have very happy customers. Let me give you two examples. One is the EPFL that they have been uh, reducing 40% their emissions. And then one is Novelis, that is one of the uh, biggest aluminum producers in the world. They are saving up to 20% their electricity cost. Trust me, this is a lot of money. Uh, the ROI on average is like five to 10 times in less than 12 months. So they are very happy. Market size is super big. We uh, forecast in Europe only 5 million. Um, we are not alone. We already have some friends in the, in the market, but our model is uh, based on pure physics. Um, and the team, in the last five seconds that I have, it's like my two colleagues, Rafael and Alessio, they have a PhD in energy systems and electrical grids. And I myself, and I'm an energy engineer, um, and I'm the ex-head uh, of electrification at Bolt, where I built the full team from scratch up to operating 50 countries. Plus, I was as well in Wallbox from early stage to IPO. So I have tons of experience in electrification because I'm very passionate. Last but not least, we are raising funds. We are already 60%, 70% covered. So if uh, you want to put some money in the right place, please let me know. Thank you so much. You did have some extra time because you started late, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, but yeah, I thought it, it decided again. So to bring it to life, because I think um, most of the people in the audience probably are not looking at energy consumption for a factory. Um, what action do your clients take based on the data you provide? So as we provide data from electricity and pretty much companies, and we understand this very well, companies they want to or reduce their cost or increase their earnings. So we start with providing to them historical data to assess how they have been doing and if they could actually reduce cost by changing to another electricity provider or because of our data is more precise, they can actually report less CO2. This we have another uh, a couple of examples. And then for the real time data, you, as you know, when the electricity is the lowest cost and the lowest carbon emission, you can actually do workload shifts to that times of the day. For instance, with this, we are working with three data centers in, in Switzerland, where we know their cooling operations need to be up and running 24 seven, but not at the same power. So at the times that the electricity is the cheapest, they actually put uh, the extra power there. Thanks.
Um, I, had a, I had a quick question, I guess, if because um, we this is something we realized two or three years ago, but um, are you seeing a potential shift in the way you position the company from a reporting cycle, which is sometimes viewed as a tick box exercise and therefore not attributable in terms of a lot of ACV, towards more of a business value, which has more intrinsic value and therefore can be recognized at its proper value in terms of the ACV contract. Is that something that you think there's a potential there or are your clients largely focused on reporting right now as opposed to the business side? Yeah, 100%. So I, I think all of this started with the reporting. So when I really assumed that before the reporting and all the regulations and stuff, companies didn't really pay much attention to all of this. Mm -hmm. So then companies started to report, then they realized, okay, my biggest footprint is actually coming from electricity, but all my plans were to electrify the company. So like, how is this making me be more net zero? Um, and then apart from that, as yeah, they started to create some sustainability budgets here and there that then they grow with time. At some point, I assume companies were like, okay, I really want to keep doing these actions, but I don't really want to, to increase the budgets and stuff. And this is where we jumped. This like, hey, yes, you can use this for reporting, but if you really want to reduce your electricity cost, especially when it's 60, 80% of your OPEX, it's like, uh, contact us and we'll, we'll help you. So I assume, to, to sum up, no? At the beginning, maybe started with the reporting, then they realized, okay, my biggest footprint, and also I have a bunch of costs here, and this is where we jumped into to be like, okay, we, we can help you. Okay. I think we're running out of time, but thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.